That just passed the house moments ago. This is a big step on the House floor, a bill that would stiffen the penalties for carjackings clears the House with a majority vote. For the first time in a called special session, votes are taken on chamber floors with a bill targeting carjackings, a crime that has plagued the city of New Orleans among those passed Thursday afternoon. The bill will increase sentencing for the crime to anywhere between five to 20 years in jail, up from a previous minimum of two years. And if there's serious bodily harm, it's increasing by a decade, with those found guilty now looking at between 20 and 30 years behind bars. Do you think that increasing penalties here is going to reduce the number of carjackings that we experience? As I a do. State? I would not be bringing the bill if I didn't. Be, can you explain why do you think it'll reduce them? The car, number of carjackings? I think sentences are, I mean, that's what, what they're there for, right? Obviously for public safety. I mean, the reason why we have laws and that they actually have sentences is because we want to deter people from doing crime. The majority yay vote coming after the bill's sponsor from Metairie took questions from several lawmakers, including some from our area. And as tragic, high-profile carjacking cases from New Orleans were even brought up. The whole PAX bill, you have an idea what, how much more it would cost the Department of Correction to carry out all these bills we're doing? Well, I've not calculated everybody's fiscal note, but what I'll tell you is if people don't commit crime, then there will be no cost. But there is a huge cost when they do, like Linda Fricky, who lost her life when she was uh, trapped with the car, or someone who was actually ran over with the car and had to learn how to walk. That's what I'm trying to address here, that those instances don't happen anymore. And I the ultimate vote was 89-4, 15 against, and the bill now heads to the Senate side. Reporting in Baton Rouge, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WDSU News.